For the CircuitPython Parsec today, I wanted to show how to set the RTC clock using the network time protocol. And then you have a really accurate clock, which you can go and check on intervals when you're connected. But it's a really nice way to get any type of clock projects or projects that have to do things maybe with Adafruit uh, I.O. that need a timestamp on them. This is a great way to do it. So first of all, you can see I've got some libraries to import time, RTC for real time clock. This board that I'm running it on is an ESP32-S2, which has a real-time clock built onto the chip. Then I'm grabbing some network things, socket pool, Wi-Fi, the Adafruit NTP library, and then some supporting things to be able to display on this lovely little TFT. I've got a little time offset here based on my time zone. That may vary. Uh, then we're doing some network connection, grabbing my Wi-Fi info from the secrets.py file, and then turning on the uh, Wi-Fi radio connecting to our uh, NTP server and grabbing the date time. So once that's been grabbed, I do a little bit of uh, display setup, and then the real-time clock has the time and then it can, can tick forward and give us the proper time. So all I'm doing in my main loop, you can see here it is displaying and updating every second. I've got the date at the top and the time at the bottom with hours, minutes, seconds. And I'm also printing some of that stuff here in my serial output. And the way we do that is set up some parsing of that uh, local time that comes from initially the NTP server and then it's on the real-time clock into those sections, hours, uh, minutes, seconds, and so on. Uh, I display that using the little text area update for the text and the text area for the date. So the clock is in one spot and the date is in the other. Uh, and then every second I display that. This uh, timekeeping here doesn't affect the, the clock. It's just how often I'm changing the display, but internally it just keeps ticking. And so that is how you can set the RTC clock using the NTP protocol inside of CircuitPython. And that is your CircuitPython Parsec.